on Jago because he gives missile damage, so your rocket's damage increases. He is also very tanky, so at level 20 he has 6500 HP, at level 30 he has 9000 HP. So he soaks up a lot of damage, it's very handy, so your other units stay alive much longer. So if you look at Lakika, he only has 4400, so he will be dead, dead a lot faster. So why is Jigo so important? Let's check the rocket damage. So normal rockets at my level 3226 plus the Jigo damage 1600. So I have 4800 damage to kill buildings, which is very important because you get rocket launchers who do a lot of damage or cannons so 8000 for a level 1 rocket launcher so I only need 2 rockets to kill them then I got a cannon I can kill that also in 2 hits it's very important because if I didn't have the Jago boosted damage I would need to spend 3 attacks to kill 1 rocket launcher and otherwise I can kill 2 so this will help a lot when you have uh, harder buildings when you're higher level at the beginning it doesn't matter so much but yeah it's important to already choose the right Cesario otherwise you're leveling up some other Cesario is not as good how do you get Jago? you just play the game and you will get missions daily missions who give contracts and sometimes you will have Jago contracts other times it will be another Cesario but I've been playing uh, one month and a half or two months I don't know how long but I already have three Jagos just by playing didn't do anything special so you will get them sooner or later if you want to make it faster you can always check the black market sometimes Jago will be here so you can buy the contracts for Jago if you want them faster but normally I spend it on Gustavo because Gustavo gives extra talent so I would spend them on Gustavo at the start, but if you really want Jago, you can do it on Jago too, but otherwise just play the game and you will get Jago. At least two, I think with two Jagos you can already go far, but now I have added the third Jago just to be sure, because the buildings get stronger and stronger. Also, Jago is most important to kill enemy outposts because those get uh, nasty buildings. Like to kill enemy players, it's not so needed, but it's still handy. Enemy player bases are mostly weaker, but uh, enemy outposts can be a couple of levels higher than you. And then it's very handy to have extra rocket damage. So you see, I added a talent to this one. If you're attacking enemy bases and you don't need uh, the rocket damage, you can always switch to switch them out. So at the start I had Valentina, who I would use to boost my uh, Flacos if I don't need the rocket damage. But otherwise there's a lot of Cesarios, but they don't... Like Poison is good, 9% extra damage or even more if you level them up. Or Guillermo to boost your... Uh, uh, RPGs but they die very fast so higher level yeah it's uh, not that great so in my opinion Jago is just the best one unless they make new ones who will be even better but rocket damage is always handy the easier you can kill some buildings especially the ones that do a lot of damage the the, the less units will die so it will be much easier for you to uh, earn money so you don't have to rebuild as much units be because you can kill all the buildings that do most damage to you so I visited an enemy outpost to show you so like here you have three cannons who, uh, who will shoot you up so they do a lot of damage they have 10,250 HP so even with my extra boosted Jago damage I still need three hits to kill one so if my rockets would do 5150 damage, then I would be able to take out two. Very easy. So I need to level up my Jagos even more so I can get them in two hits. But otherwise what you do in this situation, or what I do, you check the range. So 
Uh, it's only range till there, so I should kill the middle one and leave the other ones open. Or if you have enough energy, you can take uh, one out. But otherwise, you try to stay on the left side. So only one cannon is shooting you and the other one is out of range of you. So that's the best way to handle that if you don't have enough rocket damage. Otherwise, you're going to be dead. This is another outpost. So you have two rocket launchers here. So normally you would kill that one with rockets and then you drop your paratroopers for the other one. Well, you, that's, the, that's the easiest one you can get. You can always get them. Sometimes it's annoying because if you cannot use your paratroopers because there's another building there that will kill them, then you need to make sure you can kill them with your rockets. Otherwise, you take a lot of damage and sometimes might not be able to take it. If you're looking for a cartel, if you want to join my cartel, you can join the Belgium cartel with a casual cartel, so you don't have to be hardcore every day, but still, you need to play a couple of times a week or donate or log in every day and donate to the cartel. But uh, probably not going to kick you out if you can't play for a couple of days, so... So yeah, I hope this was handy and uh, yeah, make sure you have some Jago stacked up for uh, higher levels like till level 20, 25, it doesn't matter so much to not have them, but the more higher level you get, the, the more handy it will be to have leveled up uh, some Jagos. Otherwise you waste all your uh, experience on Cesarios that are not so good.